bringing you brand new stories. Times certainly are changing. Yeah. Malls are on the outs. Online shopping is in. Yeah, well, this week, the E-Team's Lauren Wilson goes in-depth looking at why traditional stores are struggling and what their future may look like. So, Lauren, uh, how close are we to the Jetsons here? Oh, that's a good show. <laughs> good morning, guys. I don't know about the Jetsons. It's not flying cars or teleporting or robot for workers, but we all know technology changes everything, including the way we shop. The days of shopping carts, hauling bags, and trips to the trunk slowly becoming things of the past. Most of us do not have endless hours in which to go shopping. Being replaced by online stores. In 2011, the Harvard Business Review reported e-commerce accounted for nearly $200 billion in revenue and 9% of retail sales. Those numbers, I'm told, still climbing. Online retailing has taken a good uh, percentage, a good chunk out of the uh, market that once existed for uh, brick and mortar type stores. So what does the future hold? Cleveland State's Richard Klein tells me millennials want the latest and greatest technology can offer and they want it now. So retailers are kicking it up a notch, changing everything, including the way we try on clothes. There are talks of a virtual dressing room where you'll literally be able to swipe a screen of clothing options and see how it looks on you without even trying it on, just like this. Or what about a screen that lets you change the color of a dress as you try it on? They are being talked about now. And the stores that don't get with it, they'll be left in the dust. For traditional retailers to survive, they are going to have to become technically savvy on what consumers want and how they want it. Now, don't get too excited just yet. I'm told we're probably about five to ten years away from seeing any of those changes actually pop up in stores. For the E-Team. I'm Lauren Wilson.